makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum invite you to enjoy life, Life with Luigi, a comedy show created by Cy Howard and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carroll Nash, with Alan Reed as Pasquale. The makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum are glad to bring you Life with Luigi because they feel it's a friendly, good-natured show that offers you relaxation and enjoyment. And they'd like to mention the fact that their product, Wrigley's Spearmint Gum, offers you relaxation and enjoyment, too. It's pleasant to chew on a smooth piece of Wrigley's Spearmint, whether you're working, shopping, listening to your radio, or doing just about anything. Wrigley's Spearmint Gum tastes good, it's refreshing, and the good easy chewing gives you comfort and satisfaction. Now, Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum brings you Luigi as he writes another letter describing his adventures in America to his Mama Vasco in Italy. Mamma <laughs> Just like Italian people, American people, they love to dance. Only in Italy, we do the tarantella, and here is a jitterbug. <laughs> I would think a bigger difference is in Italy, they're crazy about a dancing, and in America, when they dance, they look crazy. <laughs> oh, mamma mia, you should have seen them. Once, I went to a party, and the younger people that was a dancing, this is jitterbug. First, they dance closer, then the boy throws the girl away. <laughs> she kicked up her feet and then he's a grabber by the neck and throw her over his back and if the music wasn't a plan you'd think the girl was fighting for her life <laughs> however you know how I love her to dance Mamma Mia so, so you can imagine how I'm going to enjoy it tomorrow night when my night school is going to have a big dance in a school or gymnasium and I'm going to go with the Rosa you're going to dance it you're just a bouncer, but I'm going to maybe take her. <laughs> and now I'm going to go to my night school of class, so I'm going to finish up with my letter later. America, I love you. You like a papa to me. Ramoshan. Oh, 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 Goodness, what's that big grin on your face? Uh, just to call it all of Miss Budding, we got a bigger surprise for you. All right, Mr. Basco? Who won? Mr. Howard? Two. Mr. Olson? Mr. Schultz? Six. <laughs> <laughs> just call me Arthur Murray and smile. <laughs> <laughs> and Miss Budding, nobody is going to know nothing today because we're all excited about the big dancer tomorrow. That's right. Are there going to be a lot of people there, Miss Foley? Your hotel, Miss Foley. Even I don't feel like studying. I feel so playful. <laughs> well, did you hear Olsen? Yeah, that's like Einstein asking somebody to join him in a game of potsy. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. Yes, there will be a big crowd. Mr. Orth, our principal, has decided to invite all the other night schools. And the big surprise is that the entire evening will be devoted to square dancing. Oh, dear! Oh, wonderful. Mr. Basco, you look confused. Is something bothering you? Well, I'm... I'm never dance this is square dance, Miss Paulding. Oh, you're going to love it, Luigi. You take your partner, swing her around, and swing your ma, and swing your pa, and clean up the kitchen like you swept the floor. <laughs> yeah, but, but it's just, so what kind of dance is the way you swing the paw with your partner, clean up at the kitchen and with your mom, and then... Stop, you... Luigi, you got it all for shimmer. <laughs> <laughs> you the only divert of a square dance. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, Mr. Basco. Some square dances are very simple. I'm sure you'll catch on quickly. Uh, uh, Miss Spalding, who is going to be the caller? You know, that's real important to get a good caller for a square dance. Well, I don't know, Mr. Olson. Mr. Orth hasn't selected one yet. Incidentally, if you know of a good one, he'd appreciate hearing from you. Oh, and uh, by the way, gentlemen, you're all invited to bring your wives to the dance. Uh, uh, well, unfortunately, my wife, Frida, has got to watch it to babies. <laughs> uh, um, my wife, Olga, is, uh, is expecting her sister in from Omaha. Yeah, my wife Esther is knitting a dress with some wool I just bought her. Well, that gets rid of the opposition. <laughs> now, what about you, Luigi? Well, I'm, I'm a don't know no girls. I'm, I'm a come by myself. Besides, why shouldn't he come alone if all of you are? Thank you, Miss Spalding. Well, do you see what I think? Why shouldn't he come alone? Thank you, Miss Spalding. <laughs> Smells to me like a romance. Now, friends, please. Roses are red, violets are blue. Stop. 
stop that this instant. Uh, I mean instant. <laughs> Miss Spalding, tell me, do you get mad when we talk like that? I do. And Luigi, do you get mad too? I do. Good, I now pronounce you man and wife. <laughs> Have a wonderful time at the square dance. <laughs> Luigi, my friend. Hello, Luigi. Hello, hello. Oh, hello, Pasquale. You late to coming home from your class, little banana nose. <laughs> That's matter. You forget how much is a one and one, so teacher kept you in after school? Uh, no, Pasquale. Oh, well, well, it's a little late to so I'm gonna Oh, well, to wait a minute. Calm down. Relapse. <laughs> I understand is it going to be a big dance tomorrow night in your school, Luigi? Uh, that, uh, well, that, that, that's just a little dance, Pasquale. In, in a gymnasium, uh, just for the classes, only a few people are going to come. Uh, uh, maybe I'm not even going to go, or if I go, it's just to, to take a look. Luigi. Huh? You're fighting with something that's bigger than the both of us. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Rosa. <laughs> Don't talk like that about you dancing a partner, Luigi. Yeah, but Pasquale, this is a square dance. So what? It's impossible to square dance with somebody who's a surround. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please, Pasquale, please, let me learn. Let me... First time I'm going to learn all about this square dancing. Look, look, Luigi, you take a rose. I'm going to go along with you and teach you. You know, I'm a wonderful dancer. So happens I'm got a good head for square dancing. It yeah, could be, Pasquale. You're the biggest square head I ever saw. <laughs> Funny thing, and when I'm saying it's a come out of different. <laughs> well, what do you say, little melon head? You taking a rosa? Much well, what's it do you say? I'm a took a rosa to a few dances and, and I'm a never could dance with her. Why not? Because dancing with Rosa, I feel like I'm taking a hitch on the ice truck. <laughs> <laughs> no, but sorry, I, I'm not taking nobody. Schultz, or in the was they're not even taking their wives. Ah, there. You see, Luigi? That's why I always say you should marry Rosa. Marry her? Why? Well, if you're single, you got to take her. But if you're married, you got a perfect right to leave her home. <laughs> but if I study, I'm... I'm going to make you very happy. You're going to marry Rosa? No, I'm going to leave her home. <laughs> no, no, please, Pasquale. Out of my way, because I'm going to go over to Tony. What, Tony? With the accordion, pushing the squeeze box? What's the matter? You going to get him to supply some music? No, but but maybe he's he's an awful good caller for a square dancer. Principal in the school is, is asking if we know one who could call him. So, that's the Tony's phone number down the telephone, sir. So. Uh, wait, I'm not ready to let you go yet. First, uh, Okay, okay, you go find a Colorado little cabbage puss. Uh, I'm going to mind the stall for you. Oh, thanks, thanks, Pascal. Uh, it's enough for hard the feelings, huh? No, no. <laughs> mm, what a pop squeak. <laughs> no hard feelings. His artery should be so hard. Where's that phone number? I'm going to fix him, but it's good. This is a Friday, tomorrow no school, the dead of the day, so <laughs> Hello? Uh, excuse me, please. Uh, do I have the honor to talk with Mr. Orth, the principal? Speaking. Who is this? Uh, that's a Pasquale, the fellow who imported Luigi Bosco from Italy. I met you once in open school week, you remember? Oh, yes. Uh, you're the one whose daughter got stuck in the door. And... Yes, that's me. <laughs> Uh, uh, Mr. Ort, I'm uh, calling to do you a big favor about the square dance at tomorrow night. Oh? I found out you're looking for somebody to call out the dances, so I figure why let the school spend its good money when the champion square dancer caller in all of Chicago can be got for nothing free, absolutely gratis. Really? Uh, who is this man? Luigi Bosco. Fell in Mrs. Spalding's class. What? But why hasn't he volunteered himself? Well, uh, he's a bashful type. You wouldn't have believed it, Mr. Orth. He's gone with my daughter three years. He ain't got the nerve to ask her to marry him. I see. Well, it's all right with me, Mr. Pasquale, but are you sure Mr. Basco can handle those square dance calls? Am I sure, Mr. Orth? In Italy, Luigi was the best caller of all. Look, here's how he does it. Listen. Vieni bambini subito. Va ballare with the dosi do. <laughs> there. Uh, how's that sound? Oh, it sounds all right. What is it? 
At the square dance, it without English translation. <laughs> Look, at Mr. Arthur, Luigi knows a hundred of them by heart and in English. Well, uh, that sounds fine. And we won't have to call on outside help. Uh, does he have a band? An orchestra. Now, don't worry. Leave everything to Luigi Bosco. And tomorrow night, you're going to hear calls like you never heard of before. <laughs> Before we return to life with Luigi, we'd like to say a word about the chewing enjoyment delicious Wrigley Spearmint gum gives you. You see, one reason Wrigley Spearmint is an ideal treat is simply this. It not only tastes good, but you can chew and enjoy it right while you're doing other things. Many office and factory people, for instance, chew Wrigley Spearmint to ease tension and make their work more pleasant. Lots of women enjoy chewing Wrigley Spearmint while doing housework. It's swell to chew when you're driving your car, enjoying movies, radio, or television. Yes, friends, Wrigley Spearmint Gum is a taste treat and a chewing treat that fits right in with your daily activities. You can chew it almost any time and anywhere. So treat yourself often to refreshing, delicious Wrigley's Spearmint Gum. Get some when you go to the store and always keep a package or two handy. Now, let's turn to page two of Luigi Basco's letter to his mother in Italy. Well, Mamma Mia, tonight we got a big square dancer. And all day I'm so excited I'm going to shave myself three times since this morning. Once I'm even forgot to put in a blade. <laughs> and also, Mamma Mia, I'm, I'm a took a Schultz advice. I went out to bought myself a blue jeans, a cowboy shirt, a red handkerchief put on the neck, and a man has tried to sell me what's called a 10-gallon hat. He's a put it on me, I'm a look in the mirror, I'm a decide not to take it. It was about three gallons or two big. I'm on me, I'm, I'm a feel so good today. Luigi, my fellow boobie. Hello, Shutsa. Well, I'm ready to go to the dancer. Look, how I'm a look. Did you ever hear of General Costa's last dance? Yes, sir. I'm a look like a general custard. No, no, you look like frozen custard. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Schultze, Schultze, you, you're joking. Joking? I'm hysteric. Ach, schmein. Think of all the fun we are going to have. Yeah, but Schultze, you stay with me, huh? I don't worry. I'm not... Kind of fun. Yeah, yeah. I'm an answer. Hello? Hello, Mr. Basco. This is Mr. Orr. The principal. Himmel, to what do we owe this honor? Himmel, to what do I... I mean, yes, sir, Mr. Orton. Mr. Basco, are you ready to sashay round the hall? Uh, oh, sure, sure. I'm, I'm ready to sashay. I'm, I mean... Meet your partner, promenade home. Luigi, uh, uh, what is he doing? I don't know. So far, he's a dancing with me on the telephone. <laughs> See you soon, Mr. Basco. Yeah, right. All right, Mr. Mr. Orton. Yeah, yeah, soon. Just wanted to be sure that your voice was in fine shape. Oh, Mr. Otis is in a wonderful shape. Good. Frankly, I wasn't so sure you'd be a good caller. A good caller? Next time, don't be so bashful. If Mr. Pasquale hadn't told me about you, it would have cost the school $25. Well, goodbye. Yeah, but wait. Hey, wait, wait. Mr. Otis. Well, well, what's the matter? Don't faint till you tell me. I sure see. But Squally, he's, he's a give my name. I, I'm a should have been a square dancer, Gordon, and everybody's expecting me. Ma, uh, why didn't you tell him the whole thing is cockeyed? He's going to give me a chance. Ma, I should, should say what, what, what I'm, I'm a should do. I don't know if, but if there's a three o'clock rocket ship leaving for the moon today, grab it. Mamma, mamma, mia. That's the worst thing that's going to happen. No, wait, wait. Into my head, an idea just pooped. <laughs> Maybe we can beat that scheming Pasquale after all. Schutz, Schutz, what is it? What, what, what I can do? Downtown, at the Orpheum Theater, they got this fella, Spade Cooley. But stop standing there with your mouth open. Don't you know who Spade Cooley is? Some Macarthur player? <laughs> 
Oh, you're going to go to square dance in three hours. Look, Spade Cooley is a Western band leader, one of America's biggest Western entertainers. Oh. Now, you go backstage to him, beg him, tell him anything, but try to make him come to the dance. But what if he's in a one? Then grab one of his guns and shoot your bar. <laughs> in that case, ask him to teach you how to call a square dance. Yeah, he, he should have teach you me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ha, it's a good idea, should she? Sure, that's a, that's a good idea. I, oh, I'm a gonna learn Good, good. Now, now, come on. I'll go to the dance and stall a little. And you go to Spade Cooley. Oh, Schultze. Schultze, thanks. You're really a friend. Who would have to you would be terrible? <laughs> Everything's going to be all right, Luigi. Now, now, cheer up. Huh? Be like me. Always happy. Always laughing. <laughs> My rheumatism is killing <laughs> They didn't see me. So he's going to go to the office and see Spade Cooley, eh? Well, I'm a kind of letting no grass to grow underneath to my feet. I think I'm going to do some laughing to myself. Ha, 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 ha. Ooh, ooh. That's funny. I got a pain in my back, too. <laughs> Mr. Basco, I sure would like to help you out, but I just can't go along with you. Oh, well... That's, that's too bad. I really am sorry because I always look like to help a fan, you know. A fan? Do you like a fan? Are you kidding? I owe everything to my fan. Oh, that's why they call you Cooley. <laughs> well, well, look, I've got to go on and get ready for my show now. No, please, please, Mr. Fan. I mean, Mr. Cooley. You, you, you know all about the West. I sure do. I spent my whole life there. Why, my happiest days when I used to saddle up my old doggie and ride the range. You was to put a saddle on a dog and a sit in a gas sedan? <laughs> Look, I've got... No, the please, please. Please, Mr. Cool, I'm, I'm got a terrible trouble. That was a make me call her out in the school square dancer tonight, but, but I'm, I'm don't know what to call out. Is that all the trouble is? Why, shucks, that's easy. Why don't you give out with a little turkey in the straw and then follow it up with a little brown jug? Mamma mia, you mean I'm got to bring her the food and the drink it too? <laughs> no, no, no. That's just the name of a couple little square dance tunes. Now, look, Basco, i got to get on the stage in a few minutes, so I'm going to give it to you real quick. Calling square dances is the easiest thing in the world. You know the first thing you want to do when you get up there on the stand? No, what the... Well, you yell out the directions like this. All right, set squares out on the four, please. Four couples to each set. First couple stands to the back to me, second couple on the right... Third couple face to me, fourth couple on the left, gents partner on the right, corner on the left. Now, you got that, Basco? Oh, uh, huh? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try, Mr. Cooley. Let me see now. Gents are partner facing with the back of the front and the left is the right. And the oh, now, on. oh, Nelly. Mamma mia, I'm a sounder so bad that he's calling me Nelly. <laughs> no, no, don't worry. Now, after everyone gets out on the floor, you try a couple of basic calls like this one. Swing that lady opposite you. Now you swing your coochie coo. Birdie in the cage and the buzzer steps in. The birdie steps out and the buzzer's on a limb. Try that, Pasco. Birdie in the buzzer and the coochie coo is crazy. No, no, no. The bird's in the cage and the buzzer steps in. Mamma mia, he's going to eat the poor bird. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm going to get lots of trouble. He's looking possible. I'm, I'm, I'm never going to learn in a time. Well, try this one then, Pasco. Take your partner and promenade down. Come. You said a promenade. Promenade. Well, oh, this I'm a hide. My principal is telling me that. There, now you're catching on, Basco. That means the ladies cross their forearms, taking each other's right hand in the right, left hand to the left, and they move around the set counterclockwise. Now you get it? Oh, sure. The ladies are taking the gents' arms, and he's across to the right, and with the left, and he's the left and the right, and then they're going. What's the matter, Basco? Mamma mia, what to me? Everybody's going to need the forearms tonight. <laughs> Mr. Ock, Mr. Ock, don't worry about Luigi. He'll be here any minute. Oh, well, I, I certainly hope so. The, the crowd is, is getting so red. All of it, all of it, all of it. Did, did you talk to him? Yeah, yeah, Schultz. I even told him Luigi would bring the music. Schultz, huh? you suppose Luigi could forget it? Forget it. If he does, all of it, you and me are going to be the first human guitars ever heard of. <laughs> <laughs> oh, smile, smile, everything is going to be, going to be all right. Yes. Yeah. Look, there's Olsen trying to get next to Miss Spalding. Miss Spalding, you, uh, you look simply super in that dress. <laughs> Real Western style. Uh, 
Would you do me the honor of joining me in the first dance tonight? Well, I've uh, already promised Mr. Schultz. Oh, oh, oh well, Harry, he, he, yes. <clears throat> uh, Schultz, uh, would you mind very much if I had the first dance? Well, this is all very flattering, Olsen, but I already promised myself to be small. <laughs> <laughs> oh, smile, everybody. Have fun. Shh, shh, shh. There's Luigi. Yeah. Even though in ten minutes we may be dead. <laughs> Luigi, come here before anybody notices something. Tell me this. How did you make out for Spade College? It's a coolie, not the college. Yes, <laughs> Carly, right now I don't care if he's an Airedale. <laughs> what, what happened? Well, well, the sure, he was a very nice. Sir. First, uh, he, he teach me a few things, and, and then I'm going to watch a part of the show, to I'm going to go. Listen now. Yeah. They got a promenade, the grand right, the left, the shashé with a partner, shave and a haircut, a shampoo. Luigi, <laughs> you were supposed to learn how to be a barker, not a barber. <laughs> it looks like that Wiener schnitzel is going to come through for us, so. though. Oh, where, where, where's the mood? I don't, I don't know what it should say. I'm, I'm, I'm taking care of everything. I got a Tony, all his friends. Hey, they're coming up the steps now with the music. Hey, look, boys, let me get back up. Let's let the dance go. Yeah, 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 let's. Uh, <laughs> uh, hello, Miss, Miss Spalding. Why, Mr. Basco, you look a little pale. Luigi is just excited. You came late, so you don't know it, Miss Spalding, but Luigi is going to call the square dances tonight. He is. Oh, Miss Balding, now you look a little pale. <laughs> Come on, Luigi. Here's Tony with the squeeze box. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are very happy indeed to have one of our old members of Miss Balding's night school class call out the square dancers. Mr. Luigi Basco. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I'm, I'm sorry I was late. Is it take a long time to make the trip from those wide open spaces? <laughs> they will listen to him. Ken Murray, Miss Spurs. <laughs> All right. Square sets out of the floor, please. Four couple each set. The first a couple of stands with a back to me. Second a couple on the right. The third a couple of facing to me. Fourth a couple on the left. Gents' apartment is on the right, the corner's on the left, and... Uh, excuse me, friends, I'm going to come up for air. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, all right, and I'm ready to go. Music, maestro. <laughs> Swing at the lady opposite you, push on a buzzard in a coochie coo. <laughs> come in, come in, uh, put the whole birdie with a buzzard, I'm... Um, Come in, come in. Excuse me, friends. I'm, 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 I'm make a bigger mistake. Excuse me, please. All right, start again, please. Start to the buzzer opposite of you, buddy, in the cage with a shove and a hair cap and. Mamma mia, mamma mia, I'm. I'm, I'm, I'm going to forget everything. Well, this is a fine dance we came to. Oh, shut up! If you don't like it, go back where you came from, to Roseland. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Luigi, you will call them fine. Oh, like a professional square dancer. <laughs> oh, friends, uh, friends, is, is it no use? I'm spoiled everything for everybody. Mr. Ott, believe me, it's not my fault. Well, well uh, uh, that's all right. Uh, how about some waltzes? Ah, Mr. Walt, you're a fellow after my own heart. Walters, Mr. Walt, if you can lead, I'll follow. <laughs> Mom, mommy. Wait, the way. Oh, oh, holy oh, horse. Who is everybody? The Spanish. The evening ain't a lost yet. Luigi, if you wouldn't listen to me, you wouldn't have had to look like a catastrophe to your friends. <laughs> so happens that my name carries a lot of weight in the Chicago. Spades, come on in. Howdy, folks. Spade the cool oh, one. You see, Luigi, now you believe I carry a lot of weight around here, eh? Mr. Pasquale explained to me how important it was for me to be here, and I just couldn't turn him down. Ah, did he tell you who got Luigi into the trouble in the field? Please, yeah, but what's the difference? Shoot so long as everybody is here. Yeah, now, come on. Uh, Luigi, not to everybody. It's a certain party waiting outside who want to join the dance. You shouldn't have been bringing her in, Luigi. No, 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 wait, wait. Wait, the friends, I'm, I'm a holding no grudge. All right, Pasquale, bring her in. All right. 
My little Judy come over. <laughs> because of you poppers that carry a lot of weight and brought a spade of coolie, you go to dance. Oh, I feel so good. <laughs> go ahead, spade, to start the dance. I choose Luigi. No, 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 Miss Abby, she's got a cold. I don't... What? What? I don't want to dance with her. She's got a cold. Never mind. She's a German free. It's all right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right, come on, everybody join the hands. Miss Squally, you on my left, uh, Miss Spalding on the right. Uh. Come on, Miss Spalding, all right. All right, boys, let her flicker. Start the music. Ah. Join them hands and balancing. Swing that lady off a tree. Swing your creepy cool. Dirty indicates the buzz step in, the bird steps out, the buzz is on a limb. You like it? Hey, we'll do it again. Hey! <laughs> Push you to your papa. <laughs> Luigi, don't push me so hard. Hey, look out, the bus flash. She's coming after you. Grab her, grab her. Oh. Hey, look out, the rose. You're falling on me. <laughs> <laughs> Now you really carry a lot of weight in the neighborhood. <laughs> So, Mamma Mia, everything is to come out to fine after all. That is except for Pasquale. After the x-rays, he's a fine and he's only got a three broken ribs. <laughs> well, he's not to worry because he's a belong to the Blue Cross Hospital plan. But I don't think a Blue Cross is enough. I'm looking on where Rose is a fall on him, and I'm a think Pasquale is a need the black in a Blue Cross Hospital. <laughs> he have any son, Luigi Basco. The little immigrant from the wide open space. Well, friends, the makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum hope you enjoyed tonight's episode of Life with Luigi. And they'd like to remind you that Wrigley's Spearmint Gum is not only good, but also good for you. Chewing Wrigley Spearmint is an aid to digestion, for instance. Then, too, it freshens your mouth, helps cleanse your teeth, and sweetens your breath. So, you see, it's wise to chew a stick of Wrigley Spearmint gum after every meal, as well as between meals. It's for reasons like these, plus the fact that Wrigley Spearmint gum is a delicious treat, that millions of people chew this refreshing gum every day. Next time you go to the store, get a few packages of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum. Remember, it's good and good for you. The makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum invite you to listen next week at this time when Luigi Basco writes another letter to his Mama Basco in Italy. Life with Luigi is a Cy Howard production. Pat Burton is associate producer. The script is written by Mac Benoff and Lou Derman and is directed by Mr. Benoff. J. Carol Nash is starred as Luigi Basco with Alan Reed as Pasquale, Hans Conley as Schultz, Jody Gilbert as Rosa, Mary Schiff as Miss Spaulding, Joe Forte as Horowitz, and Ken Peters as Olson. And our special thanks to Spade Cooley for his appearance this evening. The music is under the direction of Lud Gluskin. This is Charles Lyons. This is the CBS Radio Network.